welcome Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5 and we are playing through this game on hard mode and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now we've got a bunch of stuff we got a bunch of stuff done in the previous video. First things first, we took down a few goblin camps. We then rescued a woman's brother. Well, we attempted to rescue her brother, but then we discovered that he had turned himself into a zombie, so we had to annihilate him. But we lied to her and told her that he basically went to join the Ashwinders, just so we didn't make her upset. Uh, we then came to this location right here where a woman was trying to train a troll to protect the hamlet, and things were going horribly wrong because... You cannot train a troll, so we had to go and wipe out that troll for her, and we've now earned the title of Troll Slayer. <laughs> and we also went to another location, and we found ourselves one of those uh, treasure maps, and we completed the treasure map, got ourselves some treasure, and we uh, got a bunch of experience for doing it as well. So uh, once again, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be flying around the Scottish Highlands, and we are going to be continuing to finish up a bunch of the side missions on our quest to reach level 34 so that we can finally experience the house cup and then truly finish the game where the credits will roll so let's get straight into things i'm going to be keeping these videos probably about uh, at about 35 minutes because uh, 35 minutes seems to be the ideal time for me to be able to get all three videos i record each day rendered in the same day so i'm going to be keeping them at about 35 minutes for the time being and plus we're nearly done with the playthrough anyway and the main story is already finished so it shouldn't be a big deal it might end up being 40 minutes actually we'll see <laughs> we will see but there's another side mission here so we'll get this one done help me and my friend with a time sensitive delivery a time sensitive delivery oh come on hang on a minute what's she doing she playing hopscotch Hey, you are definitely not doing that right. You're cheating. And what are those two doing? What are they doing? Is that, is that a little butterfly or a moth? What are you doing? Are you bothering the insects? Leave them alone. <laughs> Stop bullying the insects. Yeah, that is definitely not how you do hopscotch. I mean, it's not something that the boys really used to do at school. It was more of a girl thing. But I've definitely seen my fair share of girls playing hopscotch. And I don't think you do it like that. <laughs> oh. oh, well, never mind. Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Well, I definitely ain't gonna rush. Oh, hang on a second, mate. I gotta grab that flu flame. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I'm not doing them, but I'm not doing the bloody uh, Merlin trials because I don't think they give me any experience when I do them. So simple as that. Fuck them. You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um, what was it? Troll, slayer, or vanquisher? Whisperer? No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. Those cabbages can be fierce. You sent cabbages to fight goblins? Now you know that these ain't no ordinary cabbages, Merlin. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. <laughs> My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. I'm definitely not going to remember that name. Bernard Indiaye. I'm, I'm not going to remember that. I'll remember Bernard, but I won't remember the second name. So you want to hope that there ain't a bunch of Bernards in Feldcroft or someone's going to get the wrong package. <laughs> uh, why are goblins attacking Feldcroft? You already know that, bloody hell. It's, it's to do with Anne and uh, Isadora's portrait. Couldn't you grow new cabbages? Yeah, but that takes time and they need help right now, don't they? Where do you think the crates are? Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes, from what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft, the other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Okay, I'll see what I can do, buddy. Also, you've got a terrific hat. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced 
that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. I want to know why you said thank Sounds you to like him. Feldcroft in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I want to know why you said thank you to him, Merlin. I mean, you're the one helping him, and he didn't say thank you to you. <laughs> Flip it. Outrageous. Man, I love these cows. Look how cute they are. Look how fluffy they are. Lovely. Man, why are animals so great? Gotta love animals, didn't ya? Oh, bloody hell, watch out, Merlin. You nearly went face first into a tree then. What's that? Oh, just some flags. I was flying around off camera, uh, doing some uh, Merlin trials, and there was a, a group of, I, I guess they were supposed to be, I think they were adults, but there was a group of like witches and wizards, adults, and they was on top of a cliff and they were using the kites that I spoke about many, many videos ago, where you've got one for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin, etc. And oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Just them standing on top of a mountain, basically like one of those mountains in the distance. Not that really big one next to me, but like just those little cliff sides over there. With these uh, four um, these four kites, oh, I look beautiful, it did. What's that down there? Oh, that's, uh, that's, a zombie, that's a zombie area. Okay. If we see any troll areas, I'll just jump off my broom and kill them with a Vada Kedavra. Because you get a little bit of experience, so I might as well. And also, if we finish the challenges, we get a bunch of experience as well. So we might as well aim to do some of those. Like killing a hundred spiders and stuff like that. Lovely. Yeah, see that uh, challenge that appears at the top where I said 68 out of 100. I think once you get to 100 and you're truly done, I don't think you get experience for killing the enemies anymore, which is a bit of an issue, to be honest. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. All right, let's wipe them all out. Broke, bro, ain't good for much. Is that an executioner? Oh, this is almost. This one. Good job, this is What have you done? <laughs> Fuck it, oh man. I don't think that would kill you. Shame for what you've done to helpless beasts. I don't think that would kill you. If somebody threw like a wooden crate at you, I don't think that would kill you. Oh, poor little fooper. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Oh, no, you poor little guy. What are you laying down like that for? There's room in there for you to stand up. I mean, come on. Unless you're injured. There you go, buddy. I should have probably have captured it. I would have got myself some experience for that. Rebellion. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Oh, lovely. I might keep them for myself, actually. I bet that's going to be an option, ain't it? That's definitely going to be an option. What's that? Oh, that's for... Oh, that's for one of the Merlin trials. When you do these Merlin trials, uh, once you activate it, these will all break. And you have to fix them with Repairo. And then you'll get yourself, um... Rebellion. You'll get yourself, uh... The trial completed. Sorry, I had a, I had a brain malfunction then. <laughs> we just got rank 3 Scorching, which gives you a very powerful Scorchio, so that's good. Well, you get them. I'm trying to get to this bloody page. Where is it at? Is it in the tent? There we go. A doxy egg. Oh, nice. Right, I need to make sure I go the right way now. Let me check the map, actually. Because I think the mountain's in the way, and you can't fly across the mountain. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a couple of missions over here we can do after. Unless we have to return to uh, Bruckborrow first. Now, I think we're going to run out of side missions before I actually get to level 34. If that does happen, then I guess I'll just probably... I guess I'll just do a bunch of stuff off camera, get to level 34, and then I'll have to make, like, literally a 10-minute video. <laughs> so I'll have to end this playthrough on a 10-minute video. Which will suck, but... I don't know, I, th I think we should... We should probably get to 34 before we're done. And plus, we've got some other random things we can do, like the arenas and that, which we ain't done. 
If I grab some of these pages on the way as well, that should help. Rebellion. I do like that the Scottish Highlands, they show you where the uh, pages are. Probably because trying to search the entire Scottish Highland for um, for a field guide page in each of the areas would be... It'd be impossible to do. It takes so long. So I guess that's why they do it. But I kind of wish they would do it inside of Hogwarts as well. Because <laughs> it's a nightmare finding all the field guide pages in Hogwarts. Just make sure when you are searching for all the pages if you want to get the platinum. Remember that some of them will be found with Revelio. Some of them will be found by just pages flying around and you've got to grab them with Accio. Some of them will be inside of those weird portraits where you need to find a little moth. And I think there's another way you can find them as well. So uh, yeah, just make sure you're aware of that. Not all of them will be found with Revelio. Oh look. Why is there so many bloody... Uh... Look at the amount of enemies on the map. Might have to go down here and rough them all up a little bit. Very nice. Oh, you cheeky little devil. Yeah, look, I'm not getting any experience for killing them, am I? I am for killing the spiders, but I don't think I'm getting any for killing the, the uh, goblins. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Yeah, I don't think I got any experience for doing any of that. Well, that was a complete and utter waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> God's sake. So I was right when I said it that I don't think you... Yeah, I only got 10 experience for killing that one spider. That's pathetic. So goblins are just a waste of time. There's no point killing these kids. Not quite. Oh, God damn it. Just when I've already used my Revelio. Uh, my uh, Levio side. Oh, that was a bit overkill. <laughs> that was a bit overkill. Revelio. That's all the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Right, hang on a second, I can see some balloons. These these goblins, they sound a bit like the slicks from uh, Oddworld. Every time they say, is there anyone there? They sound like the bloody slicks. If you guys, guys haven't played Oddworld, I recommend it strongly. You can play, I mean, you've got Old World Abe's Odyssey and Old World Abe's Exodus, both of those absolute classics. Even now, but this many years later, they're both 10s out of 10s. Very rare 10 out of, well, Odyssey I wouldn't give a 10 out of 10, but Exodus is easily a 10 out of 10. Crazy that they managed to make that game in like seven months. Absolutely ridiculous. Well done to Old World. Uh, Munch's Odyssey is also a very, very good game. Stranger's Wrath is a different spin-off game, but that is also a very good game too. Uh, Old World New and Tasty which is a remake of Odyssey. That's also fantastic. Unfortunately, Oddworld Soulstorm is a big steaming pile of crap, in my opinion. The way that they released that game and the state it was in with bugs and glitches and that. I mean, I get people insulting me in the comments section of my playthrough just because I did something that you can no longer do because it wasn't working as intended, the game. So I was able to do things in the game that you're not even supposed to be able to do, and now they've fixed it. So then people come to my video and get mathy with me like, like it's my fault. I didn't do it. Go blame Oddworld. <laughs> Jesus, they're the ones that decided to finally fix their game after a year. Or in some cases, there's still things they haven't fixed. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? Yes, I do. Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Oh, do I want to say no? 
No? Not yet, I'm afraid. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Velcroft can survive. I'll return with the cabbages as soon as I can. Oh, I wanted to keep them. Hello again, Mr. Undiai. Glad to see you back. Do you have the chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Why is there a steaming pile of shit on your desk? You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Well, I don't think it will be. That's a bit of an exaggeration, mate. There are a bunch of cabbages. <laughs> um, and anyway, mate, you already have uh, plenty of reason to thank me because I killed all of the uh, goblins that was attacking this place a couple of videos back after we emerged from that catacomb when we collected the relic with uh, Sebastian. I, I wiped out a ton of goblins. Plus, I also wiped out a ton of goblins up there as well, near Isadora's old house. Because this hamlet right here, this is the same hamlet that you see right at the start of the game when the professors removed the drat. This is the same place Isadora lived. Well, where's, actually, where's Sebastian's house? It's this one, ain't it? Let's see if we can speak to Anne. Revelio. Sebastian, too much has happened. I needed to get away from here for a while. I miss Uncle Solomon. I need time. I will always love you, but I don't know if I can ever forgive you. Anne. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that's... That sucks. Oh, we already picked these up, actually. Why, are these, why did these reappear? I picked these up already. I think we even read them on camera. Oh man, that sucks. I don't know why. I don't know why Anne's going off on a bloody trip in her condition. All right, let's uh, let's go and get some of these missions done as well. Then while we've got time. I was always wondering if the mountain was going to be in the way. Why doesn't it let you fly over the mountains? What's your problem? What's your problem, Avalanche? Right, let me fly over the mountain. Look at it. It's just there. Look at, look at it. It's, I want to, look, I want to fly over it. Look how beautiful it is. They could have had like a dragon boss fight up there. I was disappointed that we didn't have to fight a dragon in this game. That's one thing I will say. I did expect at some point to have to fight that dragon that attacks us right at the start of the playthrough. But we never did. I know it was being mind controlled by Ranrock and being forced to do what he didn't want to do, of course. But I was hoping that we'd have to battle a dragon at some point. That's one thing you do need to do in the next game. If there is a next game, which there should be after the amount of cells this one got. Uh, you need to add more enemy varieties and bigger, badder bosses. Sort of like how Ranrock was a dragon. Stuff like that. More dragons, more... Dra I want to fight a basilisk like from Chamber of Secrets. Imagine that. <sighs> oh, yes. Maybe even have Voldemort in the game. It was like a young kid Voldemort attending uh, Hogwarts as like Tom's, Tom Hiddlesworth or whatever his bloody... No, that's the actor's name, isn't it? <laughs> that's the bloody actor of, uh, of uh, Draco, isn't it? Tom's Fiddleworth. The demigods. Oh, how I love a good puzzle. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. <laughs> I'm not a fan of puzzles. Yep. 
I'm, I'm gonna say that was a bit presu bit presumptuous of you, assuming that I like puzzles. I do not like puzzles at all. I'm afraid I don't find puzzles that engaging. Ah, understood. However, you might feel otherwise when I tell you a bit more about the rumours surrounding this particular one. My husband, Greville, insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. All right, go on then. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Oh, you can't say that. She blackmailed me. <laughs> all right, all right. I actually, the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Yeah, if we if we do that now, actually, I should have enough time. Uh, this actually leads to one of the uh, arenas that I was talking about, the battle arenas where you have to fight waves of enemies. But this one, I don't think it has. Well, it's got it's got a bunch of dug bogs, and I do need to kill those for the uh, challenge to get experience. And it's also got trolls, but there's also a lot of ran rocks. Lot. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Don't know if you guys and girls can hear it. I said it a couple of videos ago, but I got baby sparrows in my uh, in my brick wall so next to my bedroom where I record, and they're tweeting like non-stop. Right now, they won't shut up. <laughs> Don't know what they're tweeting about. Sometimes I think it might be because my cat sits in the garden. Maybe they see my cat and they're like basically telling my cat off, <laughs> which is uh, not, a, not not a very smart thing to do. Not like my cat can even get to them. They're, on the, they're basically on the roof. <laughs> I'll try and record them and make a wolf, another Wolf Quest episode. But every time I try and record them because I move my curtain and my uh, net, they see it and they fly away. So it's very hard to record them. And if I do it from the garden, it, they're, they're so tiny, my camera doesn't zoom in that much. It zooms in enough, but not enough to get a clear image of the sparrow. I think it's a sparrow. Either a sparrow or a starling. I think it's a sparrow, though. I'm nearly finished. One more vase. Okay. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Not yet, not yet. We've got to take part in it first. But there's... I think there's... There's two of these in the game, and I think there might be a third one if you pre-ordered the game and you downloaded the code. I think they had a third battle arena, but it's not needed for anything. It's just like a, an additional fun one for you to do. I think there's like six waves of enemies, and there, there, there's a time there, but I think that time is just for fun. I don't think you have to worry about anything. Man, you get 50 experience from killing trolls. Very nice. I think off camera it took me about 10 minutes, but that's because I was trying to do challenges and other things, like feats of strength. Oh man, I can't throw an anvil at a wolf. What are you doing, Merlin? Oh, fuck. Mangy mutts. Not your best. Oh. oh no, fucking dog box. Oh shit, he got me with his tongue. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, you're pissing me the fuck. They're pissing me the fuck off, they are. Go on, give me your tongue. 
Oh no. Bombada. If you, uh, when they stick their tongue out, if you use Levioso, you do big damage to the dog box. You've one less follower, Rand. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got an idea. Oh shit, wrong button, wrong button. No, piss off! They're working together. If I put uh, this back on here, the mind, oh you bastard, the mind control ability. There we go. Now we're getting quite a lot of experience. Final wave. I heard a troll. Uh oh. Ah, not me. Got the shots kicking the shit out of each other. Jesus. There's too many bloody goblin enemies that are like humans. Uh, there's too many goblin enemies which I'm not getting any experience for. Ouch! Oh, hang on, hang on, quick, 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 quick. There we go. Should think they felt that in London. Lovely. And you could do it as many times as you want. I might as well do it again, actually. Actually leveled me up quite a bit. Okay. I don't, get, I don't think you get any rewards for doing that. I think you've got to do both of them, both of them though, for a trophy. So if you want the trophy, you can do that. Might have to do that again, actually. Or may, maybe do the other one, because I think the other one that's near... Upper Hogsfield. No telling what lies in I think that one. Um, I think that one gives you uh, gives you a lot more spider enemies, and we need to kill spider enemies to finish our challenges. So maybe we'll do that one. I can't remember exactly where it is though. We should be able to get to level thirty though, from thirty four from doing the side missions though, because we still got a few more left. Uh, as always, it doesn't make it daytime. Fucking game. <laughs> Every time. There we go. A nice damp morning. Just like it is outside my house right now. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh. I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. <laughs> oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Good. Good to hear. Oh, 
All right, have I got time to speak to you? How long have I been recording? 30 minutes. Okay, we're not going to end it just yet then. I think I might... Actually, we'll speak to you. Yeah, we'll speak to you. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. <coughs> Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Why would Katrin return to rob the hamlet? Why would Katrin come back to rob the hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? <laughs> How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. What makes you think Katrin did this? Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden. And she knew precisely which homes to rob. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perhaps I can look for the thief. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, I don't think I want to help you now. <laughs> Thank you for your time, you dickhead. I should be going now. Thank you. I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Cratchering or steal the eyebrows off. I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Oh man, bloody hell. Merlin completely cut him off then. Merlin's sick of it. Revelio. <laughs> this is why I keep forcing all of these uh all of these uh, characters and stuff to give me more money. Because we've spent so much time uh throughout our lives playing these video games it's and we're always treated like absolute it's crap. Good to see you, my friend. If it wasn't for you. I might still be caged up by those dreadful Ashwinders. I will never forget your bravery. Ah, oh, you're the guy that I rescued from uh, the uh, Hogshead Cellar, ain't it? Yeah, he was the guy in the Hogshead Cellar that was taken captive with Natty, and that's his wife that asked me to, uh, who works at Gringotts, who asked me for help. Oh, they've gone, gone, in, gone in the house for a little bit of giggity giggity goo, have they? Lovely. I could break into the house as well, we could watch. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to do that. Alright, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolvets. So, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolvets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.